Hi, I'm standing in front of a gas station and looking at the high price of gasoline because I'm also concerned about the high price of food. Do you realize that in the last year, food prices, the global food bill, has gone up by more than one trillion dollars and expected to go up by at least another trillion dollars this year? What, you know what that means for poor people around the world who are trying to buy that food? We were told the other day by the United Nations that at least 33 countries, in fact, are in danger of having food rides. Some of them are having food rides right now because they're seeing their food bills going up for basic commodities by even 40 percent in the last few months. That's really a crisis for the world. And of course, that got to do with gasoline? Well, it's because the gasoline price is being tied uh, to food prices because we're using ethanol now. We're using what's called agricultural fuels or agrofuels uh, to, f to fuel our cars. And we're being told that that is a green revolution solution to our problems, that that's somehow going to make the world better for us because we're going to cut down on greenhouse gases. Well, scientists are telling us very clearly that's not true. That, in fact, the more we use agricultural fuels, uh, our crops, to, to run our cars, we're going to find that, that we're actually destroying more the environment that we did before. We're clear-cutting the land uh, for these fuels. Uh, we're boosting up the food prices, of course, but we're also using a hell of a lot of water to get that, that, that uh, crop into our cars. It costs about a thousand liters of water, some say 9,000 liters of water, to make one liter of ethanol. And we don't have that water, not in Canada, not certainly in Africa or Asia or Latin America, where most of our agricultural fuels are going to come from. What are we going to do about that? How are we going to solve that problem? Well, we've got to debate that. We've got to discuss that across Canada and around the world. And we have in the next, uh, at the end of April, in six different cities in Canada, we've got meetings going on where we've got farmers and experts from around the world, from third world countries, coming to tell us what their concerns are and what we think we can do about it. What are the solutions? Well, one of them is take a bus. We have meetings going across Canada in six different cities over the next few weeks. If you want to know more about where these meetings are and how you can participate, go to our website, www.cban.ca.